Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel and I hope you're all doing well. Um, I have a few little items of clothing to show you guys that I got yesterday um, at Walmart. I just love to go look there whenever I'm in there doing some other errands. I like to go in there and see if they've got anything on their clearance um, little area. And I did find a couple things yesterday that were on their clearance that I really, really like. Oh, before I get started, I'm here with um, my Lusan sculpt. And she was sculpted <clears throat> by Adri Stoat. And her artist is, oh goodness, I just forgot her. Um, I had my cheat sheet here a second ago. Here we go. Um, yes, Jacqueline Lagrasse. Jacqueline Lagrasse is her artist. And I call her, I named her Kyler. And Kyler is going to be getting a clothing change today. I want you guys to see how cute she looks in this outfit, though. Sorry about the shadows. Um, it's kind of dark in here tonight. She's got her little um, knitted booties on tonight, too, with this little outfit. I just love this outfit in the pink. Really, really looks good with her complexion. So, um, I hate to change it in a way, but um, she's probably been one of the ones I have not changed for a while. And I thought I would do that. This is really cute, though. Um, but, look what I found. This is one of the cute little outfits. It's kind of a peachy color with two little kitties at the bottom, um, kind of where you might put pockets down on the bottom. And it's just like a little dress, and then it comes with the little diaper cover. Um, and guess what I got that for? That's a Carter's Child of mine, and I got it for $3. So excited about that one. And then I got another child of mine, Carter's, in this um, kind of pastels, pink, purple, it's got some green in it. Um, and it's got two little owls, a mommy owl and a baby owl on the bottom there in the corner. And this is a little dress too. It's gathered kind of up at the neck. I don't know if you can see that. And then it's got kind of like a double sleeve. It's very, very cute. And this also has the little diaper cover. So cute. And this one also was $3 on the clearance rack. I mean, this is my kind of sales, guys. This is what you gotta look for. Look for the good stuff, but on sale. Um, and then this last one is really, really cute and dressy. This would have been like an Easter dress, and that's probably why it's on sale, because it was probably out for Easter. But it's got this cute little teal green uh, rosette or flower there on the corner. And it's kind of that taffeta, I don't know, is that what you call it? I don't know my, my materials. And it's got a little liner on the bottom, so it's a cute little dress. Um, no sleeves, so if I wear it, it probably will be on Ellie. Um, I most likely would probably put it on her. I think she, let's see, who else? Does anybody else not have uh, full, or have full arms? And it's got the little frilly uh, bottom on the diaper cover. So I think that's going to be really, really cute. And this was $7. So I didn't think that was bad. So very, very cute. And I've decided that I am going to put Kyler in the little kitty cat one. I thought this one would be really, really cute. And look good on her with her coloring. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to cut the tag off. I'm sorry. I never cut the tags off. I usually, after I get done going shopping, I bring them upstairs and then I'll lay them down on the bed and I'll get busy doing something else. And I don't get the tags off. So, um, yeah, it's been a busy week. We've had I Learn testing at my elementary school. 
Um, for those of you that do not know, I work in the resource room um, and in the classroom. I plug in and pull out with kids that um, have an IEP and that need a little bit more help with their schoolwork and a little bit more help in the classroom or just a little bit more one-on-one -on -one or small group help. And we've been doing iLearn, which iLearn is, I believe, the replacement of I-Step tests. And I believe um, Indiana now has replaced that, which I don't know if it's any better or not. It's Some of it's pretty tedious on the kids especially, but on the teachers and stuff too. There's very detailed instructions and so forth, and I hope that it is an accurate test for, um, you know, what you want to see the kids have learned over the year, over the school year and stuff. But I don't know. Sometimes this kind of testing is just, it's just um, a lot of work, and sometimes kids get nervous testing. Sometimes... They're not, I mean, they're using Chromebooks now to do uh, all the tests on, you know, whereas, and I guess it's been that way for a while. I've been in the schools, let's see, going on four year, or on, I am on my fourth year, so after this year I'll be done with my fourth year. So, um, yeah, so we've been, I've been busy with that the last three days I've gone to different stores trying to get groceries and different little things caught up this weekend be going to see my son at college he's going to be moving into an apartment with a friend with a roommate and um, so that's going to be really really fun but also you know just it's going to be another transition for him but probably more so for me. I think he's really, really excited about doing it and um, having his own place. The thing is, <clears throat> I'm not sure how much cooking they're going to do and what all they know. I know Logan, my son, knows a few things to cook and so forth, but I don't know if they realize how different this is going to be living on your own. They can't just go down to the um, schools cafeteria or dining hall and get food whenever they want now it's going to be if they want food they're going to have to cook it or you know at least make sure that they have stuff on hand um, to eat, eat decently and this little girl is so heavy I don't know if I got, have talked to you guys about her before I think I have but she is weighted so heavy in her head um, that if I let go, I mean, she goes way back and it's almost too much. Um, if I, and she's weighted very heavily down here on her bottom. Um, sorry, my camera angle is not that good. Um, let me see if I can turn around, but her, her, this whole area here is very weighted and then so is her head. And then I feel like oh, she's heavy. I mean, I like her to cuddle to be heavy, but right here, this is all polyfill from, from right here on up is polyfill, and then her head is filled really heavily. So she's such, such a cute, sweet little girl. Um, and if I get brave enough, I may try to, you know, weight her differently. Maybe not so much up in the head and not so much down below because she kind of crumples in the middle I'm sorry I'm not even giving you guys a good angle here but see like this whole top just kind of crumples because it's her head's so heavy and she's such a cute baby so we may do something with that I'm gonna go ahead and she hasn't had a diaper change in a while and this one looks like it's getting a little frumpy so I'm going to go ahead and take that off and put this on. But that's one thing. I am still new enough in my collecting and everything that I have not ventured out or tried some of these things with, you know, re-weighting the baby or 
um, opening up. I said on my last video that I want to do some magnetic pacifiers. So that's going to be probably my first thing that I try, and then I'll see how brave I get <laughs> to try to reweight. But she's, she, I love, I love her so much. I love this sculpt. She's very realistic. Um, she's very well done. Her painting is beautiful. Um, and I, I love everything about her. It's just weighted wise, how she's weighted is kind of awkward sometimes to handle her. And, um, I just like that to be a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more less flopping up in the head area. So we'll see if I can get to that point. But, um, yeah, she is actually the first uh, real Reborn that I got after my two Paradise Galleries dolls. So she was my most expensive doll. And she's probably the most, I mean, with the mohair she has, it's very, very soft. Um, I have probably played with, well, not played with, but dressed her more and moved her a lot more than her previous owner. And that's one thing that I'm, you know, I have to kind of deal with the hair messing up maybe a little bit more and stuff like that because <clears throat> I do like to dress her. And um, otherwise, if I'm not dressing her, she's usually laying on the bed and you know and stuff but oh that looks cute look it's a little piglet it's a little piglet this is the only onesie and this is just a little shirt it's not really a onesie but um this is the only white one that i have out right now the rest are being worn i guess i just don't have that many um white undershirts or onesies so let's see let's put this little the little pants on first and she has Kyler has um, three quarter legs so this is actually probably not going to cover it but with the dress I don't think it's going to be a problem oh And I guess I didn't really have to have a t-shirt or a onesie on, but I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it needs to, she needs to have something. Hold on one second. 